in your academic writing you have to deal a lot of pdf files and feel very annoying when you don't have any kind of authority to play with these pdf files you cannot add comments on them you cannot highlight any section you don't have any kind of edit option while reading pdf files but this problem is going to be solved by a tool which is not only going to provide you the facility to edit your pdf file in multiple ways but this tool is also ai power tool so you can do chat with your pdf by using this tool on the same interface the name of the tool is updf you can access this tool in free by the link given in the description box and you can use updf on any device with the same license if you go for its paid version when you install the pdf by the link given in the description you will open it and here is the option to open the file you can upload multiple files over there by just clicking open the file and can upload any file which you want to open by open a new tab you can open multiple files at the same time within the same browser so for example i want to edit this file i just have to click the file and this file will be open over here when we look at the left side of updf we will find multiple options to edit the file the first one is to add some comments if for example we want to add some comments on this area we can just highlight it and we can comment it in a multiple ways after selecting the portion on which we want to add the comment we can leave a sticky note over here revise this and this sticky note will be appear we can place the, this sticky note by dragging on appropriate position add comment by highlighting in the same way if we don't want any kind of information in our document we just have to highlight the area and we will press this strike through button and our that information will be he crossed from our pdf file in the same way we can underline the information and even we can add the sticky note by underlining that this type of information is required under this specific section we can highlight it in this way we can place a sticky note by specifically selecting the area on which we want to place we want that specific changes and we can even customize it for example we want to change the color of the box and we can replace this box to the appropriate position by dragging it but this pointer will stay on the specific part of the document on which we want to make some changes we can draw anything if we want to draw by selecting this pencil and we can change the color and thickness of the pencil for one we want to add something we want to circle something we want to underline something we want to write manually then we can use this pencil we can erase this uh, use the eraser to remove any kind of a changes we made by using the pencil to draw any kind of a box or circle or any kind of information to make the process of adding commenting more in detail and more explanatory we can use uh, the stickers here is a list of stickers which we can use we want we can add numbers we can add any kind of a sticker we want in our document according to the need we can even attach external file with our document by clicking this option and here we can link any other file for example we use link and we want to link any file to this word then after placing the link on that word a window will pop up from where we can select any file which we want to link with this specific part of the document for example we want to link this file we just have to click this file and open and this link is available with this file by just placing your cursor on that link that file will be appear and you can open this file by clicking on that so in this way you can add external links by using this option in the same way you can add stamps on your paper that this part of the portion need revisions and this part of the portion has been approved and all that in the same way updf also give you an option to create your e signature by using its tool and you can generate your digital signature here and you can place them on any portion where you want to place them you can use its search bar option to search any kind of a specific information over here like if you want to uh, search some specific keywords you can write and so this this search bar will bring all the sentences with this specific keyword in front of you you can export this pdf file into different types of documents you can export it in the form of a word in form of a powerpoint in the form of excel csv rich text format text format image xml and html format so you have a multiple options to convert the pdf file into different type of other files you can protect this pdf file by applying a password by applying this password 
this document will not be accessible to anyone from your system and in the same way you can also give a permission password which you can share with others to whom you want to give access to this specific piece of information you can share this file with others in a multiple ways when you are sharing you can customize your sharing by uh, allowing someone to edit and download this file or not if you check this button this will this will not allow anybody to download and print this file and even you can set the expiration time of this permission which you are giving somebody to access this document specifically for example if you want to share this specific file with somebody for one day you have to select this expiration time for one day and then you will press create and UPDF will generate a shareable link of this document specifically for you which you can share with anybody and that person can access this file on his system by this link even you can share it with others through email share it with others through email you have to press the you have to enter the email and a short message and you can send them just by using this you can save this uh, version of a file in which you have done editing in the UPDF cloud or you can save it in your system or you can save it as a flatten file and you can even reduce the size of this file also you can even edit the images of the files when you press edit PDF and this image you can minimize it or maximize it and you can do changes in any form in any table in any information according to your requirement you can expand the information you can decrease the size you can increase the size of information which is given in the table you can make changes in the PDF file according to your requirements you can even organize pages for example these are the pages of the document and you want to reposition them you can reposition them in this way you can change the sequence of the pages by reshuffling them and by rearranging them according to your requirement in the same way you can crop any page or any information for example you want to you need only this piece of information you can just crop it and by applying changes you can get that specific part of the page which you want in that document that specific part of the page which you want in that document you can even put some images if you want to put some kind of images behind the text you can apply that images also is UPDF also provide you a unique feature that it is linked with AI and you can even start chatting with your research paper and you can ask UPDF anything about that specific research paper and it will give you the information if you want to ask anything from this paper even you can chat for example if I ask it I'll give me the summary of the methodology used in this start chatting with your research paper and you can ask UPDF anything about that specific research paper and it will give you the information by using UPDF you can edit organize protect share your PDF without any effort and to get access all the premium features of UPDF in discount price you can access it from the link which is given below and this is very pocket friendly for students even if you find any kind of a problem while using UPDF you can leave your feedback in the comment section I will be there to answer you if this video adds value in your academic learning don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to share it with others we'll see you in another video till then take care